The family kept me as long as they could. They took me for a walk on the boulevards, and after the walk we went to the theater. It was the first time such a pleasure had been presented to me. It so completely laid hold of my mind and imagination that I almost forgot the presence of the mother of Genevieve, seated by my side. He was only thinking how he should express his love for me. One instant, while no one was observing us, he attempted to squeeze my hand, and I, without reflection, without intention, lightly returned the pressure of the hand which retained mine. He trembled, and then his countenance beamed, his large black eyes sparkled like fire, and a beautiful smile played upon his lips. This day of enchantment, this delicious evening, had its termination. My friend and her brother wished to escort me back to Madame Laville's. Genevieve, on quitting me, embraced me. Nicolas Maithon, still timid, contented himself with kissing my hand. This kiss penetrated to my heart. I called to remember all who have adored me. It is not poor Nicholas who pleased me least. I, too, have known what first love is.